Hi, I am Akshay Bhati, SIG product specialist in Northern California. Today I am going to talk about SIG's new 3D vision sensor called TriSpecter. In today's automation industry, machine vision is the number one technology being used for inspection of objects. When we narrow down it to 2D vision sensors, have you faced any challenges? From my experience, I have faced few challenges and the two foremost challenges are external lighting and low contrast objects. With the use of TriSpecter, both of these challenges can easily be resolved. Now I'll demonstrate how TriSpecter can be used in these two extreme cases. Over here, I have a SIG TriSpecter, a rollerboard which is attached to an encoder. And this is my target, which is a black glass coaster. Now I'll show you how TriSpecter can overcome the challenges which are faced by a 2D vision camera. As you all know, external lighting is the biggest issue when it comes to vision applications. But with the help of TriSpecter, we can easily overcome that challenge. Let's take two extreme cases. In case one, I'll have external lights and in case two, there'll be no lights. Let's start with case one. As you can see, when I move the roller board, a 3D image is formed in the software. It's so clear that you can even see the letters which are there on the coaster. Now I'll start with case two, with no lights. Case two, with no external lights. I have the roller board over here my target, the glass coaster, is over here, and this is my trispector. Now I'll move the rollerboard forward, and you'll see a 3D image will be formed in the software. The 3D images of both the cases were same. So now we can say that TriSpecter is not affected by external lighting. The second challenge faced by a 2D vision camera is when objects are of low contrast. By low contrast, I mean the difference between the grayscale intensity of the target, which is the coaster, and the background, which is our roller board, is really low. In our example, it is close to negligible because both the object and the background are close to black. So now we can say that performance of a TriSpecter is not affected by a low contrast target. Also, 2D cameras gives only X and Y value, whereas a TriSpecter would also give us a Z value, which is the height of the object. As you can see in the software, if I click on task, find, and then a peak value, then it gives me a peak three, which is this pink symbol, that means the highest value on the target. So that is called the Z value and our Z value can be seen over here. It says 376.05 millimeters. Whereas in a 2D camera, we would get only X and Y value. So that's another benefit of a TriSpecter. If you would like to know more about TriSpecter, then please feel free to reach me at 415-351-3317.